Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will try to understand the term reliability and this is from basics of system design. Now before understanding reliability, what does the term reliable actually mean? Let us take an example. Let's say that uh, you are present and you have three person as friends which are Sam, Alex and Yash. Let's say that whenever uh, you are in need, Sam always helps you. So he will help you every time you are in need. Now Alex will help you sometimes and uh, he will decline sometimes and uh, as for Yash, he never helps you whenever uh, you are in need but you call these three guys as your friends. Now consider a scenario that you are in an emergency. Then if you are in an emergency and you need immediate help then it will be highly likely that you will first ask for Sam and then you will ask for Alex if you couldn't uh, get help from Sam and if you cannot get help from Alex then you will ask from Yash right and uh, why do you ask in this top-down approach because you know that in an emergency you will not want to waste your time so time is of essence and you don't want to waste it so if you ask from Yash you already know that it is very highly likely that Yash will not help you so why to waste time in first asking from Yash, then Alex and then Sam. So if you are in an emergency, you will first ask from the most reliable person. So you can see that whoever helps you in your need the most can be considered to be the most reliable person. He will be reliable. Alex will be reliable, but not as reliable as Sam. And then yes, you can say that it is, he is not an reliable person. So. In this way, we can define reliability like Sam is the most reliable person for you while Yash is not a reliable person for you. So reliability defines how much you can rely on somebody. I hope you understood the term reliable. Similarly, it goes for systems. The systems which work desirably whenever you need them are called reliable systems. Just as I gave you the friend example previously. Now, what does this term desirably mean? So, what do we actually desire from a system? Let's look at the sum of the points one by one. Now, the most important parameters are already listed. So, the first one is your system must perform expected functionality. Let's say that you have a calculator app and uh, you are using it to calculate 2 to the power of 3 which is your input. The expected output is 8. But the calculator app has given you an output of 5. Is it an expected behavior? It is not an expected behavior, right? So the first very important thing is your system must perform in an expected manner. So this is the first point. The second point is the users are human beings and human beings are bound to make mistakes. Therefore, if your application is intelligent enough, it should be able to tolerate user mistakes that is even if user does mistake the application must cover all those mistakes and uh, not convert it to a failure or a fault condition now let's take an example of a food delivery app that is uber eats zomato etc whatever is in your country our goal is to order pizza let's say that previously you were present in seattle and uh, now you are present in los angeles and you have both the addresses saved in your mobile phone in the Uber Eats application. You are ordering a pizza and you are in Los Angeles but by mistake you have already set the address for Seattle. And you are ordering pizza for Los Angeles from an outlet in Seattle. And by the way these two cities are far apart you can look it over in the map. So if your order gets processed then this is a huge mistake from the food delivery app if your order doesn't get processed because you are too far away from the outlet then your application can be set to tolerating the user mistakes now the third point is good performance let's consider uh, the sale season is present and we will consider two e-commerce websites amazon and flipkart flipkart runs in india you can take it as ebay or something now both have uh, similar offers on products we are assuming this and in the sales season, you can say that the number of online users in the platform will highly increase. So I have given a table where the up arrow uh, shows that it is increasing. So on Amazon, the online users have increased and also on Flipkart it has increased. 
let's say that definitely the load on the system will be directly proportional to the online users on your platform so the more number of users on your platform the more load on the system so the load is also increasing for both amazon and flipkart now the latency let's assume that the latency is increasing for amazon and uh, for flipkart it is unaffected due to some backend issues the latency is increasing for amazon let's say the previous latency and what do i mean by latency let's say uh, the time taken to load a page the time taken to add your item to the cart the time taken to place an order and so on and so forth right so these are some of the common operations which users keep doing and let's say previously it was taking one second to do any of this operation and now it is taking 10 seconds due to the latency but for flipkart it is still one second what do you think will happen if the latency increases the users will get annoyed and they will start exploring other platforms and other websites so the probability of selling an item will decrease for a platform with a higher latency you can just think it over carefully it will be the most logical uh, thing which comes out so you will want that more number of online users be present and keep exploring on your platform so that the probability of selling an item at your platform will be higher than the other platforms okay so considering this particular situation we can say that flipkart is more reliable because the latency is unaffected even if the load is increasing so we can say that a flipkart is having good performance as compared to amazon the fourth very important point is uh, security must be guaranteed in your application that is you need to block any unauthorized access which can lead to hacking or data leaks etc so security is very important therefore now we can talk about the reliability as something uh, which is continuing to work correctly even when things go wrong and what are the things which go wrong like you can uh, see a spike in load suddenly due to sales or etc i mean there can be a number of reasons for high load there can be user mistake as we saw or there can be an hacking attempt which you need to prevent so if your system works correctly then it will be said to be more reliable if you are preparing for interview you can join our live system design batch in design dose or live intermediate to advanced dsa which is for interview dose or live basic to intermediate dsa which is foundation dose you can find out all the details by querying us on whatsapp on this number if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos on system design see you guys in the next video thank you